Today we're going to be talking about judging others, we're going to be talking about hate, and we are going to be talking about race. So come back and see me. Welcome back to Sharing the Word of God. If you're new to my channel, my name is Chuck McGee. Thank you so much for subscribing. On this channel, I do weekly videos where we do nothing but uplift and encourage others, and we never take our eyes, our hearts, and our minds off of God. Why do we make fun of others? Why do we judge others? Why do we have racial problems? Some say it's the media. Some say it's the internet. Yes, the media has some things to do with it. Yes, the internet has some things to do with it. But you were born with love in your heart. God created us with an amazing heart. And that heart was filled with love when we were born. But yet through time, the devil and hatred slipped in. Either through what we saw with our parents and their friends, either through what we learned from our parents and our friends, but somehow that hatred slipped into our hearts. Now I've also heard people say that that is the cause of our words that we say to other people or our actions. Well, I don't believe that because we all know right from wrong. We all know right from wrong. And the words that we say are the words that we're thinking in our head and in our heart. Now, some may say those words and really regret those words, but yet it's in their heart. So we need to change that thought process. So today, doing this video, I saw a picture yesterday of a little girl who was heavy set, and I would say she was about six years old, and her mother had her in one of those fold out strollers and people were making fun of her. Now we don't know if this young lady was mentally challenged. We don't know if she was physically challenged. We don't know if her mother was just being an outstanding mother because they just spent the whole day walking and her little girl was tired. But yet we chose to laugh at her and make fun of her. We see people with the big earrings we see people who have colored hair. We see people with tattoos all over them and we make fun of them. We walk by and we snicker. We see mentally challenged people. We see physically challenged people and we make fun of them. We judge them. We judge the people who are standing on the corners begging for food or begging for cash. But yet in all of those situations, we have no idea the road that they have traveled, but yet we make fun of them. I wanted to do this video yesterday, but I was too riled up because several things had happened to me. And I, I just knew that if I wouldn't take a step back, that I would just be very um, aggressive in this video about sticking up for different races, mentally and physically challenged people, people who are hurting, people who have lost everything. I stand for people like that. I stand for everyone because I stand for God. And God wants us to love. I am a soldier for God. And I get so angry when I see others who say they're Christians or others who say they go to church, but yet those are the same people that claim that the person on the corner who wants money is a con artist. But yet he could be living in the streets. He could have lost his job. He could have lost his family. He could have, he could be mentally challenged. We don't know. And at the end of the day, as a Christian, I don't care. I'm simply going to help everyone that I possibly can. There's a saying that I was telling my wife, you can't help everyone, but you can start with one. And if all of us had that mentality, wow, this world would be so much a better place. So I got in the Bible and I, I want to read a couple verses to all of you. So hopefully I can change the mindset of someone who may be watching this video. Let all that you do be done in love. 
Be loved. Let us love one another, for love is from God, and whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. Anyone who does not love does not know God, because God is love. Above all, keep loving one another earnestly, since love covers a multitude of sins. Go back and read those. Go back and, and study those and, and put those into your heart. And become that better person. Become that better follower of God. Become that person that God wants you to be. And reach your hand out to someone and help them. Don't make fun of them. Put your arms around them and love them instead of hating them. Joel Javain is a brother of mine who has a Christian channel here. And I'll put his um, his channel in the descriptions below. You have to check him out. He's just, he's just amazing. But he did a video on something similar to this. And he said, what is a joke to you is death to me. I mean, think about that. His video was about Muslim people being discriminated against. His video was about how he's from Jamaica and he actually had someone come up to him and ask him if he could sell them weed because he's Jamaican or because he has a beard. He's Joel. He's an amazing young man. Just like everybody else that we have a race issue with or we have a discrimination mind against. They're wonderful people. They have a heart just like us. Just because they're a different color skin doesn't mean anything. I have spoken many times about the fact that I tried to commit suicide. And it is amazing the family members and the friends that I've lost because of that act. I tried to kill myself. They don't know the hurt and the pain and the, just everything that I was going through at that moment. See, people say, oh, that's a selfish act. But I say there's several different ways of committing suicide. Yes, the person that goes in and kills the 20 children and then kills himself is a selfish act. But Robin Williams, are you calling that a selfish act? Robin Williams was in pain. He was hurting so much. And he felt that that was the only way to relieve himself of pain. Another Bible verse that is amazing says, A new commandment I give to you that you love one another just as I have loved you. You also are to love one another by this. All people will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. Again, go back and read that. And it's something that you have to do every day. It doesn't happen overnight. But when you focus on God, and when you ask God to come into your heart and be everything that he is to you, let him lead you in your life. Focus your eyes, your ears, your heart, your mind, everything on God every single day. And you will change. Your thought process will change. You will change. Your heart will change. You'll start to see yourself doing things that you never thought you would do. And it's all because of God. I mean, there's, a, there's an amazing football player. I mean, there are so many stories about hatred and race, and, and, and it's just so sad. But there's a football player in the NFL. His name is Colin Kaepernick. And last year, he was playing for the San Francisco 49ers. And so during the national anthem, he decides to sit down instead of stand and honor everyone who has lost their lives and everybody who fights for our country. So he sits down. And there is a huge uproar about this. And I understand. But no one wanted to hear him. They just assumed that he was being a bad person. They just assumed that he was, you know, against everybody who lost their lives and every young man or woman that's fighting for our country. But that wasn't the case. He wanted to get attention because he's tired of his people being treated the way that they are. Yes, could he have done it a different way? Yes, but we could have done all the things that we have done in a different way, but we didn't. He was taking a stand. 
He is an outstanding Christian young man. He's an outstanding person. He's an outstanding everything. And he's one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL, but yet today he doesn't have a job because people don't want to hire him. Now, people on ESPN, people all over the world, they don't want to say what truly needs to be said. But he's not being hired because he's black. He's not being hired because he's black and he's taking a stand. See, everybody was in an uproar about him sitting down during the national anthem. But why aren't we in an uproar over all of the black people that are being killed unjustly? Why aren't we in an uproar of all the black people that can't find jobs or that are being discriminated against? Why aren't all of us taking a stand for all of us? See, I say shame on you to the owners of the NFL because there's about 15 teams that don't even have a very good starting quarterback. And this guy, Colin Kaepernick, took the 49ers to the Super Bowl. He is just an amazing athlete. And last year, he played for one of the worst teams in the NFL, and he still had amazing numbers, but yet today, he doesn't have a job. See, that's what I'm talking about. We need to change our focus. God wouldn't allow this. If you are a Christian, then you shouldn't allow this. What is wrong with taking a stand? I'm taking a stand today. I'm taking a stand for that little girl who was heavy set, but yet was in a stroller. So what? But yet we make fun of her and we, we break her down. I'm taking a stand for all the people who, who just don't know how to take a stand. I'm taking a stand with God. I'm loving other people. I'm loving everyone. And I say to the NFL owners out there, how awesome would it be for you to hire this Colin Kaepernick and you walk out in the middle of the field with him with, his, with your arm around him and say, this guy is going to lead my team to the playoffs. Because at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. And take a stand with him. Take a stand with him and say, hey, I'm tired of people being treated less than what they should be treated. I'm standing here with not only my quarterback, but my fellow man. And we're going to take a stand. I'll tell you, I would stand up and applaud you. And I think... A ton of people would. Stop being afraid of what you think he represents. Get to know him and his heart. And you'll find a young man that stands strong for God. He stands strong for his rights. And he is a good young man and would represent your team. Just like that little girl. Just like everybody in this country who's being made fun of. Who's being treated poorly because they're gay or not gay. It doesn't matter. They're wonderful people, and it's time we take a stand. It's time to start loving instead of hating. I love you all, and I want to encourage you to stand. Stand for your fellow man and say, hey, this is enough. I love you. I love him. I love her. Regardless of the situation, take a stand and love others the way God has loved you and continues to love you. I encourage you to do this. I want to uplift you and, and just say, it's okay to do this. It's okay to love a stranger. It's okay to help a stranger. Because one day, you may need or be in need of help of a stranger. So, I love you guys. Give me a thumbs up. You know, we all need those thumbs up for our videos. Give me a comment. I know I'll receive a lot of comments on this and I will always comment back. It's important to me that you do. Subscribe to my channel. I do videos every week. But just remember to love everybody. God bless you all.